Hi guys, it's been a while since I filmed. I actually had gallbladder surgery on Monday and I'm finally feeling much more myself. In fact, I'm actually going to venture in the world this afternoon. Um, I need help because I can't quite lift Gracie and stuff yet well without hurting myself so my grandma's gonna come with us but we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby for a craft that I plan on showing you guys so stay tuned for that but right now I'm going to do something probably crazy I'm going to attempt my own brow lamination so it's totally like a DIY and if it works a serious mom hack so I'm super excited to try it um while under the influence of pain medication from my surgery I totally did a lot of online shopping some of which I'm not proud of um, a lot of it was some really cool stuff for, um, Gracie and that I plan on showing you guys in a totally separate video. So I'm really excited that should be here today, but for now I'm going to do my DIY brow lamination. Um, so I picked up this kit by SilkSense. Um, I just ordered this on Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, if you decide that you'd like to follow along or you're just interested in what it is and how it works. But basically this is like a lash lift kit, but you do it on your eyebrows, which I feel much more safe about because it's not all my actual eyes. Um, but basically like a brow lamination just gets your brows to like stand up and look more fluffy as if they have gel in them all the time, but they don't. And it lasts like I think six to 12 weeks. So hopefully it works. I'm gonna try really hard. Um, in the kit, it comes with some glue, the perm solution, a fixation solution, nutrition, and a cleanser. So first what I'm gonna do is cleanse my brows with a cleanser and just like a damp um, paper towel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the lash glue to brush them into the position that I want them to stay in. Then I'll apply the perm and then the fixation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cleaning. Okay, so I went ahead and just cleansed. I just used a Q-tip and the cleanser and just ran it through my brows. Um, this is just to like, I think, remove any unwanted oil or anything like that. I don't have anything in my brows right now because I did not get ready today yet. So I went ahead and did that. And I think the next step then is to glue my brows. So I'm going to use this spoolie and then go ahead and just glue them into the position. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm actually waiting for the glue to dry right now. And I definitely like do like the way that it looks. However, like normally whenever I like wax or like trim my eyebrows i will also like brush them up and trim the top because i do like a more fluffy natural brow um this one is more dry as you can see some of the hair is like a little bit straggly so i'm gonna go ahead and trim that i think just so that i know for sure that i love the way that it looks since it will be here for a while okay i'm done with the gluing as you can see my face is a little bit grouchy for me like rubbing the glue up and down but like for the most part this brow is like my least favorite brow because it ends sooner and it's way sparser through here so this brow definitely like looks a lot better and i'm hoping that like at the end this is pretty much what it looks like um so yeah i'm about ready to put on the perming solution so i'm gonna actually i think apply it with a um uh, Q-tip. I'm just going to pop the top off of it and then you also need to cover it with like a plastic wrap almost thing so I've literally just have some clean wrap. That's what the lady and all of or the girls in all the videos that I watched used. Um, so I'm going to cut a chunk off of this. I feel like the top of this would fit well. I'm just going to use some scissors and cut this to fit. Um, I think that it's just like the heat from your face and stuff helps the perming solution to set up. So I went ahead and cut a strip that I can put across so that will be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the perming solution on and I'm going to just brush it into my brows. So I think for the most part, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to finish that up. So as you saw, I just brushed it on, cleaned up the underneath so that the perming solution wasn't on my skin. And then I went ahead and applied this clear um, cling wrap just to help with the thing. I set a timer for 10 minutes and I will be back then to rinse it off. Okay, I'm checking back in 10 minutes later. It is time to pull this off. And then you're supposed to, I think, directly go into the fixation. 
Yep, directly onto it. So you don't rinse it first. So you just apply the fixation, which is the number two, the blue one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and applied the fixation, fixing, um, fixation lotion type stuff and added another layer of the Serana wrap. I'm gonna go let this sit for another 10 minutes and we'll be back to see the final product. All right, final results time. So I let this sit for about 10 minutes and I'm about to take it off. Um, they look the same to me. I mean, they look like how they looked. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them off really quick and then I'll be back to show you what they fully look like. All right, so here is a final product. Um, I definitely feel like I need to trim them a little bit more so that they look a little less crazy. Um, I was nervous that like you wouldn't be able to push them down, but like you totally can, but they just like naturally, like if I were to just get out of the shower, would want to kind of stand up. Um, the thing that I think will make me like them even more is if I go ahead and tint my brows, which is something I've been doing for years. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you like the final final results of like what they look like just washed my face. Okay, so Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you could see um, exactly what they look like. Honestly, I'm super happy with the results. It'll kind of depend like how long it lasts on whether or not I think that this is something that I would do consistently. Um, honestly, though, for me, like that is exactly the result I was looking for. I have just the tint, no gel, nothing in them, and the tint usually lasts like four weeks on me. So if I could wake up with these brows every day, totally worth it to me, especially that I only paid like $19 for the um, kit. I will go ahead and link that down below, but honestly, I'm super happy and I hope it lasts as well as it says that it will. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some uh, brow pencil just to like totally finish off and I will check back in one last time. Okay, so final prognosis. I went ahead and added just a little bit of brow pencil but not much at all and honestly, like I'm super, super happy. So um, feel free to replicate this video. Like honestly, like I'm super impressed. I'll link below the kit and yeah, if you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Um, having so much fun just recording little tidbits and things in my life and this is just one of the silly things that I decided to try. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.